Because he's just saying the button can organize the body. He doesn't want to have Reverend fathers, oh. Reverend clergy, Thank you. Bernadette, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Well, now, well, well, you are all very welcome. Now, I want to say that there's, I want to thank at the beginning for myself and Bernadette. I want to thank some relatives that have turned up tonight. I want to thank my brother Peter. And most of you will know that he's the proprietor of the Shamrock Aiton House on Kilburn High Road. And I want to thank Peter very much for turning up tonight. Great to have you here, Peter. For all of you. I suppose he paid your bus ticket, did he? Uh, now, you keep quiet. The Peter, fair play to Peter. He was in the corner bar last night in McCall's bar and the, and the other fella. And he bought drink for the whole place the whole night. So we're delighted with him. And that's what our Peter is like, and it's great that you're home, people. I'd like to say, ladies and gentlemen, that Father Vincent, that's our first cousin once removed. From where? Is only able to be with us today. Father Vincent sent a message from Lagos. There's a huge crowd for confirmation today. God bless the progressors. There's 300 to be confirmed in Lagos today. He couldn't live. So, Father Vincent says hello to us all. I'm also happy to welcome my wife, Bernadette's brother, Councillor Nicholas Alphonsus Clark, PC. And he's currently the mayor of Ballantubble. Thanks for coming, Nicholas. Now, this is a big day for our family. And I heard the bride's father talking earlier. And he was sort of saying that his crowd were the cream of the parish. But I want the bride's family to know, and the bride to know, that our crowd are no skin made guys. <laughs> I want to welcome the bride into our family. She's a, fl a fine slip of a girl. God knows she reminds me of what Bernard was like 20, 30 years ago. <laughs> and I'd say this as I said to Father Riley, I don't know whether he elected or not, but I said to Father Riley earlier, I wouldn't take her out of the bed myself. <laughs> so well done, Johnny, a fine bride. And a You're very welcome into our family. I want to say that Johnny, our son Johnny, will be a very good provider. He's a hard worker, he's a hard grafter, and he didn't lick that off the ground. <laughs> he was wonderful hands on him always. Johnny was always a great man to hang a gate. Wonderful out. i never forget you for the hanging the gates, Johnny. Great man to hang a gate. He was always very clever, Johnny. You remember that, Baroness? Fingers clever. I remember the teacher coming to our house when Johnny was only 12. And he says, there's nothing more I could teach that gas in the years. And we kept him home after that, and he'd done the best. And he'd always a great clever gas. <laughs> now, Johnny always had good innings with the women. And you know, Johnny, you needn't be a bit sorry to be settling down today. He had very good innings. Do you know what Mickey Clancy said to me in the car our house last night? Mickey Clancy is an ignorant way of putting things. But he says, you know, he says, your son Johnny rode half the women in this town before he got married. <laughs> and, you know, and you know what I said back to Mickey Clancy? If you'll pardon me, Bernard, for bringing it up. Uh, I said back to Mickey Clancy that that means between myself and Johnny with the whole fucking damn lot of it. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud of my son Johnny, and I'm proud of my heir, and if he's anything like his father, he'll have an heir himself before the night's out. <laughs> Daddy, you know what I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to finish soon, but there's a few things that I have to tell you. Johnny wasn't always as cute or as wise as he's now. 
It was a time he didn't know as much as he knows now. And I remember one day me and him went into the chemist shop. Years ago, Johnny, I, you were only about 16 at the time. And Johnny says, what did them things up there? And I say, sure, Johnny, they are condoms. And I explain to him, he says, what's a condom, Daddy? Do you remember that, Johnny? And, and I explain, Asher Bernadette, the mother would be shy that way, but she'd be good at using them. Yeah. Shy. Shy at home. Oh, I shouldn't listen to that. But I'm going to be shy about telling them, but I tell Johnny up straight what them come up on what me and you were at for years. And anyway, then Johnny says to me, he says, Daddy, why is the condoms in packets of three and packets of six and packets of twelve? And I had to tell Johnny, I says, Johnny, the three are for young single people. One for Friday night, one for Saturday night, and one for Sunday night. <laughs> And the packets of six, Johnny. Johnny, they're for engaged couples. Two for Friday night, two for Saturday night, and two for Sunday night. And Johnny, as you said yourself, the packets of twelve, they're for married couples. One for January, one for February, one for March. Yeah. Now, when I just, the wife Bernadette said tonight, good up, she says, you yeah, tell two jokes. Don't be all serious. I will, and I'm going to tell you two quick jokes. I'll not know, we go down and celebrate. And I'll tell you two jokes. This joke 